I have, like everyone, has had many occasions whereby I was in need of a helping hand from someone, anyone, who would be moved and willing to give it. On one such occasion, a profound burst of insight occurred to me as I sat contemplating my predicament and praying. I heard an old adage in my head saying, if you teach a man who is hungry to fish, he would never be hungry again. However, as this was voiced in my head, my heart spoke and said, what good would it do to try and teach someone who is starving for nourishment how to fish? Wouldn't it be better to feed him first, resolve the present issue, and then teach him to fish so he will no longer be hungry again? I thought about that, and it made perfect sense to me. A man who is starving isn't in a position or the state of being to retain such knowledge. And giving him such without helping him first by feeding him, you're only exacerbating the situation and showing off your intellectual prowess and arrogancy. Little did I know that this insight was a pivotal moment for me that embarked me on a journey of self-awareness and awareness of how divine love really works and the occasions and the moments in which we are called to express it. I readily confess that there has been too many times I have missed the mark in my life. Too many times I got caught up in expressing my knowledge about any given thing and failed to see what needed to be done. Somehow or another, I bought into the idea that words, mere words, intellectual expressions, would somehow would somehow stop someone's heart from aching, calm someone's souls, mend someone's wounds, stop the tears from falling, feed their belly. Words are a mental expression. It is not an expression of the heart, therefore, it is not an expression of love. To teach a man how to fish when he is starving is a purely logical thing to do. But it is not a loving thing to do. We have a logical mind and we have a heart and both are meant to be put into practice and of use. But most things about us need the heart-based wisdom. And in that moment and hour of my life, I really needed someone to feed me, not hand me a book on how to fish. Collectively, humanity has pursued the power of the mind. We have all come along in our knowledge of the mind and its functions. We have come along in the knowledge of the mind and its functions to a certain degree with some basic understanding of how it works. We have discovered that our thoughts not only have an impact on our bodies and our characters, but it also has an impact and effect on the lives of others. We have discovered that the thoughts work like radio waves, transmitting signals, giving and receiving. And unfortunately, it has been discovered that the functions of the mind can be manipulated with unholy intentions. So what did this experience teach me? 
It taught me a valuable lesson that my pursuit for intellectual prowess, although it is not without merit, made me imbalanced. And the imbalance was caused because I didn't equally pursue my heart-based prowess, which is the cultivation of love and goodwill. It brought about awareness of myself, my relationship with myself, and my relationships with others, as well as my approach to my life and how to improve it. And I came to understand that my initial approach to everything was intellectual. Any problem I had, I would automatically pursue it in an intellectual way. And that frustrated me because I couldn't understand why my needs weren't being met. Would more knowledge feed my belly? Would ideas ideologies, theories, philosophies soothe me when I need to be calm? No, I found that it didn't. There are certain things in life that just cannot be done away with. When you are hurting, someone holding you close lovingly goes beyond words and intellectual thought. When you are hungry, Having a plate of food goes beyond words and intellectual thought. When you are wounded and so one lovingly mend your wounds, that goes beyond words and intellectual thoughts. The whole experience was a turning point for me. I began to understand the importance of the expressions of love. Love in action. Love in heart, love in expression, which all goes beyond intellectual thoughts. And I also understood something that gave me an element of wisdom. And that is the pursuit of intellectual mind power. without the cultivation of heart-based power, which is love and virtues of spirit, does not make one intelligent. It only makes one arrogant. Wisdom is the combination of both put into proper use. I now say, if you see a man who is hungry, feed him first. Nourish his need and then teach him how to fish so he will never be hungry again. Is this not what Jesus Christ asked us to do? Is this not what we ask for when we pray to God? To take care of our needs first? So from now on, if I ever come across someone who is hungry, I would feed them first. And then I will share what knowledge I have. Thank you.